Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the eye drink, which I received from www.brotherunion.net. Before I start, though, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the product remains true, honest, and accurate as always. Okay, let's go straight ahead and show you what's in the box. Okay, so the eye drink comes in this uh, pretty small sort of little presentation case. And inside you're going to get things like your user manual, a charging cable. Now the kit does only come with one battery, but you can use the cable to charge and vape at the same time. And you're going to get two of these sort of uh, specific atomizers. Uh, like I said, they are specific for the eye drink, so you won't be able to use it with your regular sort of 901 atomizers, 510 atomizers, etc, etc. As well as that, like, you get the actual eye drink. Uh, which is made up of like a, an outer shell with a magnetic top cap. Then they have like the main body which houses the electronics, the e-liquid, etc, etc. You have one of these 450 milliamp hour batteries which is a 14350. Now I've not seen these being sold anywhere on the net. Uh, I've not really been looking for them but I've never noticed them, let's put it that way. So it could well be that these batteries are quite specific for the eye drink again. You have the other spare atomizer there. Then you have a 3ml bottle of e-liquid and uh, obviously I filled the uh, bottle up myself with uh, my own e-liquid and then you have this sort of uh, locking sort of ring nut. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble the eye drink and then uh, talk about some of the features as we go along. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously install the battery and you just got to make sure that the, uh, the negative end, which is the, uh, the flat end, uh, goes towards the spring and that just uh, slides into place like that. You then need to install the 3ml bottle, so just fill it up with whatever e-liquid you're going to be vaping. And it's going to screw it into this hole here. Now hopefully you can see just on the edge there, there is like a, a hole and basically it works on a tilting action. Every time you vape, as you tilt it, it's going to feed some e-liquid up through here and into the top bit here, which uh, is where the atomizer is going to sit. Then that will basically feed the atomizer. So fill the uh, bottle up with whatever flavour you're going to be vaping on. Keep it held upright and just uh, try and sort of locate the hole and uh, screw it into place. And obviously you want to make sure it's in there sort of fairly tight but, uh, but not too tight though. So like I said the eye drink does use its own very specific atomizer and as you can see you've got all these little holes that have been cut out and underneath that is all this uh, polyester wall. So the idea is that each time you tilt the eye drink, it's going to feed some of the e-liquid from the bottle through the eye drink up to where the atomizer connection is. Then this uh, polyester wall will then soak it up and then feed it up to the heating coil. So to install the atomizer, you've just got to literally uh, push it all the way down and then uh, screw it into place. Now I have found if you're putting on a fresh atomizer, or if you've just filled up the bottle with some fresh e-liquid, then just to sort of uh, get the ball rolling, it's worth giving the bottle just a couple of little uh, sort of squeezes. And that just helps things uh, obviously uh, get the juice moving up there. And after that, it does actually seem to do a fairly good job of uh, automatically feeding the atomizer. On the side here, you have these five lights, and these will light up each time you inhale. And they're also acting as a uh, like a battery indicator, and they will go down as the battery depletes. And then to finish off, you've just got to take the case of the body, slide that over the top, and uh, when you're doing it, just make sure that the window is lining up with the bottle, because you can put it on both sides, and obviously um, you're not going to be able to see how much juice you've got in there. So just make sure the window is in line with the bottle. That goes on like that. And you've just got to take the, like, the locking ring, that goes over the top and just uh, screws into place. And that's it, you can start vaping. It is an like automatic switch, so you've just got to basically... Uh, suck it and see, uh, no little buttons to press or anything like that. And when you're not using it, you can just take the lid and it is a magnetic lid and it'll just uh, lock into place like that. It's not the strongest of uh, magnets though. I mean, it does come off quite easy, but uh, it sort of does its job. <laughs> okay, so that is the eye drink. Let's go ahead and see what it vapes like. Okay, so that is the eye drink. So what I'll do now then is obviously go ahead and show you in action. 
Okay, so obviously I'm using it to set up as I just showed you in the, uh, the close-up shots. And I've got the bottle filled up with some 18 milligram strength uh, tobacco flavoured e-liquid. As you can see, like you know, vapor-wise, it's um, it's not bad. It's sort of producing quite an adequate sort of volume of vapor, but I am finding the vapor to be sort of quite sort of wispy, I suppose. But so uh, for me, um. I'm having to really sort of work quite hard to get that amount of vapour as well. I'm going to go sort of straight onto the switch, which is for me it's just you no, know, is awful really. It's like, it's like an automatic switch. So every time you take a drag, it's going to automatically start firing up the atomizer. But um, I'm really am having to sort of uh, suck very hard to uh, get it to sort of work properly. Sometimes you know you finish taking a drag and the lights are still sort of lighting up. You can still hear it firing up. Other times, you know, you're sucking like crazy and, um, you know, like nothing's happening at all. And it's just um, a really horrible sort of switch to use. And like I said, you know, you really are having to sort of work very hard to be able to get it to sort of uh, fire up consistently to try and produce that sort of amount of vapour. And as soon as you um, sort of release any of the, um, what's the word? Not release any of the tension, but as soon as you sort of make your draw sort of slightly weaker, then that's it, the switch just cuts off straight away. There's no sort of, um, no, you can't sort of take a nice light drag and then go into a slightly harder drag or a slightly hard drag and gradually go into like a lighter drag. You've got to keep it really consistent as hard as you can to be able to get it sort of, to sort of uh, fire up consistently throughout your inhale. And so, uh, you know, vapor-wise, yeah, you are getting an all right amount of vapor, but, you know, my God, you haven't uh, sort of really worked to get it there. Um, throw hit-wise, you know, I am getting a um, an all right throw hit. Again, I'm having to sort of work it, though, because I need to get that volume of vapor into my mouth to be able to sort of breathe it down into my lungs to give me that sort of kick in the back of the throat. So, you know, again, it's, it's, it's the same thing. You are getting a throw hit, but you have to sort of uh, work pretty hard to get it there, really. Uh, the battery life on it is... It's not brilliant, but it's not too bad. I'd say one battery's last me about sort of, about sort of, almost a full day of, of sort of fairly moderate vaping. But I've got to be honest, I really have been struggling to try and use this as my like main device. Obviously, when I do a review, I try and use the uh, whatever I'm reviewing as like my main device for at least sort of four or five days before I start even sort of, sort of thinking of recording a review. And uh, normally, no, no matter what it is, you know, it will get me by. Maybe I'll have a few sort of tokes on the Proveri or whatever I normally would sort of uh, vape on. Uh, but most of the time, I can sort of pretty much stick to whatever it is I'm actually reviewing. But with this, it's just like, I'm just not getting any sort of satisfaction out of it at all. It's just been a pretty unenjoyable experience. And so I've been vaping it for, you know, sort of 10 minutes, something like that. In that it's not really sort of... Uh, hitting the spot, I suppose, and I'm then I'm sort of I'm all, all the time I wanting to reach out for something that's um, that is going to hit the spot basically. So uh, I am getting almost a day worth of vaping out of it, but it is very very moderate vaping, let's put it that way. So um, you know it's just not doing it for me in that sort of sense really. The um, the automatic sort of 
filling of the cartomizer or the dripping, whatever way you want to sort of look at it, or bottom feeding, I suppose. You know, that does seem to work okay for me. Every time you sort of tilt it, you know, you can see like um, a little sort of bubble going up there. So it does seem to be uh, sort of doing its job. But as long as you're obviously tilting it, I suppose that's, it is like sort of taking a drink, really, hence the name. But um, flavour-wise, it's the atomizers. When it was brand new atomizer, you know, the flavour was pretty good, I thought. And um, it does tend to disappear quite quickly, really. It just leaves you with a flavour rather than being a very nice sort of uh, full-on flavour. You are just, you know, you can you can tell it's your, your regular or the or the flavour that you are trying to vape on, but um, it's just sort of more on the. Uh, it really does make it dull. That's the only way I can sort of describe it, really. I mean, I should point out that this is like the first version of it, and I think, uh, and I've had this, I've probably had this from now for about sort of six weeks. It's just that because of work and because of obviously other reviews that have been in place before, and I just haven't had the time to sort of get around to actually uh, reviewing it. But um, I think since that time, they've actually brought out a newer version of it, uh, which hopefully may be a little bit better. But um, for me, it's just. It just doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't give me any sort of um, satisfaction in that really. I, mean, like the, I like the fact that it's got some new ideas there with the um, like the sort of automatic sort of feeding system and that. Well, that's pretty much it really. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's got a good idea there. But um, like I say, it's just the only, I can only thing I can really say, it's just, it's just not doing it for me. It's just, um, it's just been a quite an unenjoyable vape really, which is quite rare for me because normally whatever I... I review, you know, they do tend to perform pretty well. I mean, at the end of the day, like most of these devices, they are just a tube with a battery in it and an atomizer. So they may look a little bit different, and may be made out of different materials, but at the end of the day, ultimately, they all pretty much work exactly the same. But um, quite what it is about this, I think the main thing for me really is the uh, is the switch on it. The automatic switch is just um, is absolutely awful. And it, I think that really, if, if the switch was better, so I could just have a normal vape on it, you know, without having to sort of suck the life out of it, then I think uh, my opinion of it would be dramatically changed and it'd be a lot more of a, a far nicer vape, really. But uh, the switch just uh, completely and utterly sort of lets it down. But then, you know, there you go. Um, I'm not really going to say much more about it. It's pretty obvious of not being overly impressed. Um, maybe it will suit some people. If you like sucking really hard, I'm sure there's some people who do. Uh, but uh, for me personally, I'd uh, rather not. I'll get on to the scores in. For the looks, well, again, even the looks don't really sort of do much for me. It almost looks a bit like, a, like I've got roll-on deodorants that look like that. You take that off and then give it under your armpits. You know, so the looks don't really sort of, um, don't really do much for me. So I'll give the looks a five. The vapour, now the vapour, like, I am getting a fairly nice amount of vapour out of it, and I would give it a seven, but like I said, just bear in mind that you have to sort of suck the life out of it to be able to get that amount of vapour. Again, with the throw hit, I'll give the throw hit a seven as well, but bearing in mind that you have to sort of suck the life out of it to be able to get that nice sort of throw hit. Uh, battery life is not bad, I'll give that a, uh, I'll give that a seven as well. And for the, oh, the switch, it's got to be, I'd give it two, just for the fact that, you know, it does, work if as long as you suck hard enough you know and um but yeah the switch is just um just awful for me personally anyway you know like i said the, the, i think there is a newer version of this out now so hopefully you will see a uh, dramatic improvement if you did want to try one out for yourself go along to www.brotherunion.net thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com that's e-sig-reviews.com Cheers guys, happy vaping, see you later.